The average person breathes 20,000 times a day, and each time Sting is watching you. So creepy. That's why Andy Summers wrote the song Don't Stand So Close To Me. Actually, Sting wrote it, but he was probably looking in the mirror. Breathing is something you never stop doing. Here's the problem. You're doing it wrong. Thousands of years before vaping became a hot button issue, the process of breathing was already obsessing us. For the ancient Greeks and the Hindus, breathing was not only important for the body, but for the soul. Like a spa weekend at the Ojai Valley Inn without your kids. Now aside from holding your breath for most of the Middle Ages, if you were a Jew, the human race back then breathed in a healthy fashion. According to Men's Journal, everything changed with industrialization. Not only did kids get dangerous factory jobs, but everyone forgot how to breathe. And modern times are even worse for our breathing. Once we left the farm for the cubicle, things became different. No longer were we doing hard work, drinking in the air, breathing through our diaphragm. Mm -mm. We shifted to people sitting in cubicles, eating Chipotle burritos, drinking Pepsi, and breathing through our rib cage. It's Friday! Which is why we are now a country that has forgotten how to breathe correctly. As Jane Boston points out in her book, Breath in Action, we tend to take sips of a breath and then hold it when we're anxious, both of which can have a ripple effect throughout the system. And it's not just the amount we're taking in. According to Men's Journal, poor posture, restrictive clothing, bad habits such as smoking, diets that lead to high blood pressure, lack of exercise, multitasking, polluted environments, and slouching in front of computers are just a few. That's of, more than a few. Are just a few of the things that are creating a lifestyle that's incongruent with incongruent. proper breathing. Incongruent. I think it's incongruent. I think it's incongruent. I think it's incongruent. I think it's incongruent. With proper breathing. Either way, our current lifestyle is taking our breath away. Literally. Point is, try saying incongruent, incongruent without being winded. You can't because you're breathing wrong. You're saying it wrong. Now the key to breathing correctly lies in this simple riddle. What do famous singers and babies have in common? Screaming tantrums, their every move photographed, and a team of people dedicated to cleaning up their Yes to all of that. Oh, and they both breathe correctly. Oh. How you may ask, Jason? Babies and professional singers both do the two most important things needed to breathe successfully. And it's not wearing diapers and playing Vegas. Both take slow, deep breaths from their diaphragm. This is particularly difficult because most people don't know what it is. Yeah, for years I thought it was a form of female contraception. It is. It is? Yes. And you're supposed to breathe in and out of one? Now I'm confused. Okay, Jay, after the heart, the diaphragm is perhaps the most important muscle in the body. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped sheet of muscular tissue extending across the body, below the chest cavity, and separating the lungs and heart from the stomach. This is where the good breaths come from. And when it comes to breathing, the slower the better. Just pretend you're a nervous fat man at the beach. Just suck it in and slow it down. Bearded health guru Andrew Weil himself advises you practice this technique once a day by counting to four while you inhale through your nose, holding your breath for a count of seven, and then exhaling for a count of eight. Suck it in, hold it, exhale slowly. No, you are not on tour with the Black Crows. You are taking steps to breathe correctly and keep your shoulders relaxed. The neck and shoulders should not be a part of the breathing process. I believe it was E.T. who once said, you never want to give him too much neck. Did he say that? I think he did say that. Is he on the bike heading up to the moon? Ah! Same with breathing. The less neck, the better. Dr. Dana Garamani. Breathe, Randy. Of UCLA instructs patients to breathe through the nose. It slows the oxygen uptake. This slow, deep breathing triggers a relaxation response in the body that slows the heart and reduces the stress. Unless you're stuck in a crowded elevator after eating way too many garlic fries, most people aren't aware of their breath. According to selfvacation.com, conscious breathing or paying attention to how you breathe during different parts of the day will remind you to keep it slow and steady. And stand up straight. Straight posture will not only make you look taller, it allows for deeper breathing by giving the diaphragm more space to work. So, use your diaphragm. Slow down. Become a fat guy at the beach and suck it in. Sit up straight and for God's sakes, relax! That's good, Randy. That'll definitely calm people down. Now I need a deep breath. For Randy, I'm Jason. For Jason, I'm Randy. And I'm so relaxed. You're doing it wrong. You were doing it wrong. But now you're doing it right. And now I don't even care. Me either. <sighs> you gotta suck it up. You gotta suck you gotta it up. You gotta take it in. You gotta take you gotta it up. You gotta take it up. And then you talk like this. That's Harvey Firestein. He's been sucking in his stomach for like 40 years. And he doesn't even go to the beach. Nope. He's just. How's it going? I'm, I'm on more. Broadway. I haven't breathed I'm playing in 40 every, years. I'm playing everybody's father and everybody's mother. Next time on You're Doing It Wrong. Subsequent studies published by the National Institute of Health found that taking a high dose of vitamin C daily for a year would only reduce the duration of a cold from 12 days 
to 11 days. So take that, Florida. Hey, easy on Florida. They will come after you with a samurai sword. Sorry, Florida.